Welcome back to the Nikki Clark Radio Show. The show is about transforming lives one story at a time. And we invite people from all walks of life to come and share their heart stories, stories of in, information, inspiration, and transformation. And we are so excited to have uh, a wonderful individual on the line. He is um, a native of Niagara Falls, Ontario, and he received his first guitar as a Christmas gift at the age of six. And then he got some basic lessons later on uh, from his cousins. And then he continued to play and, and hone his craft. And then in 2014, he was diagnosed with colon cancer. And after the initial shock, he turned to music for solace. Now, after uh, media attention that has um, won him uh, lots of acclaim and also uh, you know, releasing his first EP, California, in 2016. He's had a series of hits. And now uh, Jeff Orson uh, has released his new single, Little White House, uh, that was just released in January 2020. So please welcome Jeff Orson to the show. How are you doing today, Jeff? I'm great, thanks. Nice, uh, nice having you on the phone today, Nikki. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Uh, so, Jeff, let's get right to it. I'm sure the listeners want to know, what is your background leading up to what you're doing today? You, you know, uh, Nikki, I think you covered a little bit of it uh, in, in the beginning there. I mean, we grew up, our family grew up with uh, not a whole lot of money. We we struggled a lot when I was, was a kid. And um, so first part of my life, I guess, was trying to get out of poverty. And mm-hmm. I put myself through school and uh, kind of the typical story of, you know, working three jobs and um, and getting yourself out of, um, not the best of economic circumstances. So right. that was kind of um, what I really was focused on, I guess, for uh, for the first part of my life. Um, mm. And then uh, I finally got out of that, and 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 um, you know got a, got got on my feet and everything, and and you know saw the world and traveled and did all kinds of wonderful things until um, until I got sick. Uh, in 2014, and that was um, I was just as I said, kind of living my life, and uh, and then I uh, went to the doctor and found out that uh, through a couple of tests and whatnot that I had colon cancer, and that kind of changed my life forever, and mm-hmm. um, um, that was a big, big game changer for me, and still right. is today. I mean, I, I always thought that life would just go along as it always did, uh, but it's not like that. No, no, I can just imagine. Um, so how's your health right now, Jeff? Oh, my health's great. I just had my, coming up to my sixth year checkup and, um, cancer free. So that's, I'm Beautiful. pretty thrilled about that. I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful every day. You know, I always think sometimes when you're having a bad day, you know, I don't know, you're stuck in traffic or this isn't going right, or whatever the minor things are. I always think back to that when I had that chat with the doctor and, and mm-hmm. said, you know, you've got cancer. And I'm thinking like, you don't have that. You're up walking around. You're doing what you like to do. Mm-hmm. Um, life is pretty good. I'm stuck in traffic or whatever, whatever. The, who cares? It's the way it goes. Right. Yeah. It, it, it changes your whole perspective on life, doesn't it? Yeah, and, it does. Uh, you've got this whole new lease on life and you've, you've taken uh, what has happened to you and you've made it um, such a beautiful blessing for not only yourself but so many listeners. Uh, so then you, you got um, your first release, the EP entitled California in 2016. So tell us about that and all the other uh, releases you've had up until uh, Little White House. Sure. Um, well, um, I'd written a bunch of songs and um, a, a bunch of different stuff, and then um, and the recorded a couple of records that just didn't kind of work as far as the sounds and stuff. And uh, I wrote a bunch of songs for California and recorded that in a in a few days, and you know, on a on a shoestring budget and whatnot, and um, and got it out there and uh, started having a. Uh, some people listen to it and come to some shows and stuff. But uh, first song that really kind of went uh, on the radio, like, you know, uh, out east was a song called um, uh, Won't Let Me Let Go and then went right across the country, which I co- co-wrote with uh, Dana Shrek and uh, David Woods. And uh, that was kind of the first one where it's like, oh, wow, uh, I'm on the CBC and we're, you know, getting played in a bunch of different markets. And then... Mm-hmm. Um, um, that was kind of like, I never expected that to happen. So that was right. like, oh, oh boy, I, I think maybe somebody's listening now. Mm-hmm. And then it came out with, um, 
um, Country Kids this summer, mm-hmm. and then that got played uh, a fair uh, different place. Just missed the, the just missed the top 100. We were like 101 on Media Base or whatever. But you know, for an older performer who hasn't been doing this his whole life. Mm-hmm. I was pretty over the moon, right? And it got played a bunch of places and, and I don't know how many countries around the world. So um, so that was pretty cool. And then um, launched Little White House in January and that is on Canadian radio right now. A couple of places in the States and uh, a couple of places overseas as well. Um, so really thrilled about that. The reception to that, it got picked up pretty quickly. And so mm-hmm. I was I was happy. Fantastic. And Little yeah. White House, what's that about, Jeff? Well, Little White House is, you know, it's a, it's a crazy story, but I grew up in a Little White House that my mom and dad built on the outskirts of town. That's all true. Uh, my mom and dad built their house on weekends while staying with, uh, with uh, my grandmother. And um, they built this house, and my, unfortunately, my father's, uh, he's 96 now, and he came to me latter part, first part of last year and said, you know, Jeff, I can't stay in the house anymore. And so uh, I helped them move and get everything out of the house and all the different things that people have to go through to downsize into a retirement home, which he's enjoying. And um, and I was standing in the house and I think, you know, you're not going to be able to come here anymore. Mm-hmm. This is somebody else's place going to be. And, and uh, I was kind of sad by it because I'd known that place my whole life. And so I went went home and sat down and honestly, the I held the pen and the song wrote itself. So, wow. um and that was Little White House, so maybe 45 or 50 minutes, and then, you know, you have to polish it and whatnot. But the idea was, as I said, I was the lucky guy holding the pen. So Yeah, just poured right out of your soul. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely. I, I started thinking there's no going back. Somebody else is going to enjoy this and have their own memories in it, but it, it won't be uh, uh, your family anymore, unfortunately. And um, so uh, um, that was kind of a tribute to my dad and uh and some of the memories we had growing up there. Okay. So, you know, fans appreciate your music, and they, they call it, you know, a very straightforward style, uh, relatable, heartfelt lyrics, and uh, they're inspired by your real-life experiences. So would you say the genre is country or pop? How would you describe your type you of You know, I, I would say I started out with some earlier stuff, and it was very folky, but now this is uh, this is – like it's pretty country and western that's for sure uh but you know what people who like other genres tell me they like to listen to it as well uh you know so they like the sound of it as well so um hopefully it crosses over to other things but main focus obviously uh uh country and western uh genre absolutely now jeff how has this passion project um you know songwriting and music how has that transformed your life you know, I, I think it's the people that I've met along the way, the whole the whole journey, all the survivor stories, the cancer work that I've been involved in with Canadian Cancer Society, and now doing this show in in the the states with, in San Francisco for the with the American Cancer Society, um, uh, all their life changing things, uh, all the people I've met. Um, all their stories, the write-ins when when we did uh, CBC and whatnot, just all the it was just it's just been a beautiful experience of meeting other people, touching them hopefully with you, you know with the music and, and my story, and having them relate to that and maybe knowing that someone else feels the way they do now or did and um, and, and that it's just been such a nice outpouring of people writing me back and commenting and and, and it's, it's it's been Amazing. I never ever thought <laughs> this late stage in the game this would ever happen. So Yeah. And and you know what, it there's no such thing as an overnight success. Sometimes what people perceive as success has taken about, you know, ten to twenty years in the making. And oh, yeah. uh, I'm just yeah. so happy that uh this is the right time for you. So congratulations, Jeff, on all your success. And um, I'm looking forward to meeting you face-to-face at the Nikki Clark Show live taping coming up in the near future. Uh, but I'm sure people want to know, how can they reach out to you so, to social media and also oh, get yeah. uh, your songs? Sure. Well, my songs are on 37 different global listening platforms from Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Prime. It's surprising how many streaming sites have uh my music there so very easy to to find uh as far as social media um uh instagram is at jeff uh, jeff orson music twitter's at jeff orson music 
uh, and um, Facebook is is Jeff Orson. I mean, you, it, it's no more simpler than that. And a little logo comes up and says Jeff Orson, and then away you go. You click on. And um, jeffhorsonmusic.com is my website with shows and photos and a couple interviews and work that I've done and different things and, and things like that and new releases and information like that, um, which I try and keep really up to date because you want people with the, the latest content, but really easy to find. Just Google and, 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 and you can find me for sure. Excellent. Well, uh, Jeff, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Uh, you've been listening to Jeff Orson, who is a singer-songwriter of the country western genre and he writes beautifully soulful songs um, inspired by his real life experiences so please reach out to him on social media Uh, there are so many platforms that you can get his music and uh, his latest release Little White House go check out uh, for that song on um, on the web, and also you'll be seeing him coming up shortly in a later release of uh, the Nikki Clark Show, our live taping. So, Jeff, thank you so much for your time. We really do appreciate it, and I and I'm very proud of all the wonderful things that you're doing, and uh, you've taken um, what would be a burden and and has, you've made it into a blessing. So, thank you very much for that. Oh, thanks so much for having me on, Nikki. Thanks for your time, and uh, uh, I love uh, watching your show and all, uh, as I said, one of your most liking fans on Facebook, so I like all your stuff and different <laughs> oh, stories and things you. you do. It's a real great service to the community and everybody, and, and we uh, we enjoy your listening to you and watching your programs and whatnot. Oh, thank you so much, Jeff, and keep liking away. And I'll oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> awesome. You've been listening to the Nikki Clark Radio Show with our very special guest, Jeff Orson. Jeff, all the best, and talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.